Meantime, we're keeping an eye on uh, who's going to fund this uh, new Zika threat. Uh, some in, in Congress are balking at some of the, the figures they're throwing around. Josh Stern is saying that everyone has to sort of come to agreement on that. I think that's probably an understatement. Uh, but what a lot of folks in Congress are saying is we're not going to throw money at, at a problem and, and assume that it's all going to go toward, toward dealing with this uh, Zika virus that has gotten so bad that a number of uh, uh, countries' Olympic teams just might be skipping out of the Brazil Olympics if Brazil doesn't get a handle on it. And that country just impeached its president. It's a mess. All right, so how bad is this Zika thing? Uh, Dr. Anthony Fauci uh, on all of that. Doctor, I, I, when they start talking huge global figures to deal with this, hundreds of billions of dollars, uh, what are they going to do? Is it to coordinate efforts? What? Well, the president asked for $1.9 billion for the effort of the United States, multiple departments, predominantly HHS, but also other agencies of the government to address this problem, this threat, both in South America, the Caribbean, Puerto Rico, which is a United States territory, and the threat for the continental United States. So the total amount that was asked for is $1.9 billion, and that's what all the discussion is going on right now gotcha. in the Congress of how much and if so how are you going to do it is it going to be an emergency fund is it going to be a regular appropriations and that's the discussion that's currently going on right now yeah because i'd heard and maybe it was just misspoken at a press conference that they had talked about a global uh, effort on the part of everyone even though it's not affected by the zika virus to pitch in and hence the, the earlier figure i mentioned but let me ask you about how are we behind the curve on this doctor you worry that we are what well, I don't think we're behind the curve in the sense that that's the reason why we have been working on this for a few months right now, and that's the reason why we're asking for the money that we need to address it. There are several ways that you can address it, something uh, you know, as fundamental as mosquito control, what we call vector control, which is very difficult in certain countries, particularly in South America. We need to be able to help with that, but we also need to be able to prepare in our own country, particularly in the country, in the states that are around the Gulf Coast, where we'll be getting a mosquito season really quite soon. In fact, we already have mosquito activity in certain of those states right now. So we want to make sure that if we get a local outbreak, and that means cases that originated in the United States, that we'll be able to control it and prevent them from becoming sustained and disseminated. We know now we already have travel-related cases in the United States, in the continent of the United States. We're concerned about the outbreak of local cases. We've seen that with other related right. types of viruses, things like dengue and chikungunya. So it wouldn't be surprising if we see at least some local outbreaks in the continent of the United States right now. Doctor, thank you very, very much. It was very calming. Come on. So when people are freaking out, you're calming them down.